the tennis world could now have a new Nick Kyrgios. Andy Murray's ex-coach Darren Cahill believes tennis has a new Nick Kyrgios in the shape of American ace Ben Shelton. He reached the semi-finals of the U.S. Open earlier this month after progressing to the quarter-finals of the Australian Open at the start of the year. He's like Kyrgios, Cahill told Jimmy Connors and his son Brett on their podcast. You like Kyrgios, you hate him, I don't care. On the tour. He brings something different and people will go out and buy a ticket and watch these guys play. And Ben brings a real joy in what he's doing on the court. He's not scared, he doesn't care who he is playing. Despite his outstanding runs in Melbourne and New York, Shelton has struggled in smaller competitions this year and has failed to make it beyond his first match in 12 tournaments. And Cahill has admitted the 19-year-old needs to find some consistency. Incredibly brave in the big moments, he was certainly playing to the crowd, enjoying the crowd, the Australian added. Again, you need to put those results week after week to be a factor in the top 10. I think Ben is so young, maybe he's not used to it. Maybe a little bit too many expectations came onto his shoulders after the Australian Open. Now we're going to see Ben consistently improve every week. I am not saying he's going to race into the top 5. I think eventually he's a definite top 10 player. Shelton defeated former U.S. Open champion Dominic Thiem at Flushing Meadows before seeing off compatriots Tommy Paul and Francis Tiafo in the latter stages. But his run was finally brought to an end by Novak Djokovic, who subsequently mocked the teenager for his phone-slamming celebration. And following the semi-final contest, the American said, I don't like when I am on social media and I see people telling me how I can celebrate or can't celebrate. I think if you win the match, you deserve to do whatever you want. As a kid growing up, I always learned that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, so that's all I have to say about that. And Cahill also had his say on the incident as he added, I love him. I think the fact that Novak took him up a little bit, for his celebration, was awesome. You can't have robots on tour, you can't have no personalities on tour.